I just put sure, it. Sure, take your time. I put the recording in the member area afterwards. So, all right. So, how's it going, Robert? Right? It's going good. It's going good. I don't know why this. I got a new wireless mic, and um, I was using it yesterday on another pro. It wasn't it? Wasn't Zoom? It was a different program, and it was working fine. So, I'm not real sure. So, this is just coming through the mic on my camera. Hopefully, yeah, I mean, it sounds okay. Sounds clean. Sounds good. Good deal. Well, let's see. Uh, been on vacation since we last spoke, and so I'm just uh, trying to get back into the group today. Going through emails, catching up. Um, so I took to heart what you said uh, in terms of uh, you know the the best way to to focus on building the business around your own core product and uh, have a digital offering. So um, don't sure what you think about this, but I came across a, uh, a company that seems to have really high quality PLR offerings mm -hmm. and um, found one that would be what I feel like in my wheelhouse in terms of like self-improvement, uh, I'm big into that. And um, so I gave the, the course a try um, and then of course they offered an upsell to that, both of them were pretty inexpensive, but I was real impressed with the content uh, that was provided through the course in terms of the eBooks, um, video, the sales tools around the landing page, the VSLs, uh, the opt-in, the email scripts. Um, you know, it was, it was very comprehensive from what I can tell. I'm still going through it because I did this right before I went on vacation mm -hmm. so, today. To be, you know, I'm just trying to uh, go through it at a high level to, to get my arms around, you know, is this a good direction to go and so forth? But I don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Well, I mean, I don't have a ton of information from you, you know, in terms of what the, you know, I obviously private label rights, you, you've got a course you're going to resell. And that's, you know, that's really good. I think what makes those courses even better is when you add a personal touch to it, right? So you can take that course and you can add an intro and an outro, or you can come in there somewhere in between. Like, for instance, I know a guy that um, he bought like a TikTok course or whatever. And then what he did is he went into all the videos and he brought them into his own uh editor and then he he added like an introduction what they're going to talk so he could connect with his audience because when it comes down to it you can find information on any topic in multiple variants right so there's like just what i do there's thousands of people that do what i do right the difference between me and them is me <laughs> right so in in a world where they can find information about anybody or anything or any topic or any process or any technique, you need to bring some level of like authenticity into it so that when you go to market that thing, it's one of your differences. It's your ability to say, well, you know, this is, this is why it's different. And I like having, for me, I have a, weekly Q and a call and collaboration call that I do just like this, only it's obviously a lot more intense. Um, and you know, it's for a couple hours twice a week, you know? And so you, you can't copy that, right? You can't, you can't take that and use it in yours or something. Right. So that's something that right. I think helps make those courses better. But when you, when you ask me, you know, what I think about it or what can I do? The question is, is like, what, about what you're doing is a question that you have. Uh, I wouldn't say specifically yet. I've even gotten far enough along uh, to have some to really quality questions for you, to be honest. Um, but my, you know, just in general, I was I was curious about your concept. I completely agree with you that you know you do have to make it your own. Uh, which is one of the things that I saw value in was the ability to have complete uh, rights to the content, right? If I want to change the logo and whatever they provide in terms of um, visual, um, you know, screenshots or pictures or, you know, all that's edible. 
um, which is beautiful, right? And if I want to change the content, add things to it, um, you know, it gives me a foundation, uh, the way I looked at it in a framework versus starting from, from scratch. Mm -hmm. That That's the way I viewed it. Yeah. But, but to make it around um, with my input and, and also, you know, when we were talking about, you know, it's really important to, to get into something that you feel strongly about, you enjoy, you're passionate about it, you have some experience level with it, and it's something that's relatable to you and that you can drive uh, and help other people with, right, solve the problems. Um, I've always really been in that, even though, you know, with a sales background, um, I, I always did believe in, you know, self-help. Um, you know, been through every friggin' motivation class out there, you know, every, every course, Tony Robbins and, and the so, such has ever offered. So I've had a real strong uh, affinity for, you know, that type of content because I do believe it really does help people. Sure. It does. Yeah. You if know, it's good stuff. the thing I think probably gets people the most is they don't you know, once they have something like what you've got there, right? Once they've got um, some sort of offer, whatever it may be, I think the biggest thing that people have trouble with is just consistently showing up and and marketing it and learning right. each time they do it. It's it's like shooting a basketball, you know, each time you shoot, you know, why did you miss? You know, and just trying to constantly change until you can find that pattern and that you know method to where it can happen consistently each each shot more times than not right. and that's what you have to do with your marketing and you have to really learn your market and message and there's just really not any way around that and i think a lot of people sell yeah. that that you can just copy someone else and you can for the most part like you can get pretty darn close but you have to realize that everything that's out there can be found out. So it, people, I had a person on today on the live and they're like, you know, why, how can, how can, you know, he's like everybody or she, I don't know if it was a he or she, I think it was a he was like, I, you know, there's already a lot of people doing this. What, how can I do it? You know? And it's, I said, well, there's, it's, there's a lot of people coaching basketball should, so nobody else should do that. You know, there's a lot of people teaching a lot of things. So should maybe nobody else teach it? You know, it's so when, when you do what you're about to do, it's like, well, why would I listen to you? There's Tony Robbins. Right. right. There's that thing. Right. It doesn't matter. You need to find a thousand people that truly believe in you. And because there's billions of people, to find a thousand people that gave you 30 bucks a month, that's, that's 30 grand a month. If you can get there, you can get to the next spot and the next spot and the next spot. So, um, I think it's just showing up and, and, and really allowing people to, to see, you know, are, are you worth my time? Can you, can you help me? And I think just showing people what it is that you have and how it works I, it's, it's always worked for me. I've had people that they'll come to me and they're like, well, I don't have any testimonials. I don't have this. I said, it doesn't matter. Just go show people what it is. <laughs> like, do I need to give you a testimonial if I can show like, all right, this is yellow and this is red. And if I pour them together, if it changes colors right in front of you, do I need a testimonial or can you see what just happened? And that's what I like about this. It's like, people go, well, how do I know this works? And I'm like, well, how are you talking to me right now? Exactly. So you've got, got to find that. Through, uh... Yeah. You've got to find that thing within your thing that you can prove right there on the spot. And that will help you do anything. You can tell, you could have the most influential people in the world say, yeah, Mike can fly. Or I can just go outside and be like, watch guys and fly. Right. <laughs> So that's going to be a lot more believable than even people telling you that I can fly, even people that you believe in the most. So in, in whatever it is that you sell, what is that un, 
deniable proof thing that you can show people and then get to showing them that. That's great. Uh, great input. And that's where I've got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Um, yeah, it's great that uh, I've got a framework of content. Uh, I've got, oh uh, yeah, wonderful. I've got, um, you know, an opt-in page and, and a, a landing page and a squeeze page and a BSL page and an order page. But it's those points that you just made that get people to ultimately pull the trigger, right? So I've got a lot of work to do on that front. And, um, you know, I've got to build my story around that. That's that's the key. And I can do that. Um, oh, and like sure. you said, also, it's the execution part, right? Um, great, i got a framework, but you got to go do the work every day and build that story and make it your own. And and, uh, and quite frankly, one of the things, you know, um, in terms of giving you feedback that the reason I'm here and I'm joining, I'm going to join your program is because it's clear as anything I've seen in this space, like you said, there's a, there's a lot of people doing the same thing. You are showing exactly how to do it. And then every call that, like I watched a couple of your Q and A weekly calls, you're just going through exactly what you have built and staying true to that format. So no matter what question someone's going to ask you, you can revert right back to that, uh, the whole process of what you developed to get someone here today. Talk. It's the same thing. Yeah, it you're really, right. it, um, most of what we do. And, and when I say we, I say business people, entrepreneurs in general, you know, you're solving some sort of problem. And usually it's not, I mean, unless you're doing like Neuralink crazy stuff, it's nothing really that crazy what we're doing. Like for me, attraction, conversion, delivery. There's a few components within each of those main cores. And that's it. Like a basketball coach, dribble, pass, shoot, defense, and then you're mastering the mundane. I've been doing the same thing day in and day out for years. A tree is only trustable and reliable because it's so consistent at being that. Like, you know, you trust the ground because it's there every day. If you just show up every day and you just get them to the result, everything will work out and take care of itself. And then when you can learn to look at your thing and say, how can I get to the result faster, easier, in a better way? That's all you're doing all the time. Other than that, you're educating people about it. People are like, well, how? I hear this all the time. Well, how much should I post? How much should I do with this? How much should I do with that? It's as, it's as silly as saying like, well, when should your when should your store be open? The more your store's open, the more you can do sales. The more customers you can have. It's 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 as silly as saying like you know, well when when should we when should we do oil changes? We're an oil change shop. Like how often should we tell people that we do oil changes? I would figure out a way to have that constantly happening. I've got the cure to All cancer and every disease. When should I, how much should I, how often should I tell people about this? Right. It's just, this is what you do, set it up and then use the tools to automate. You know, like this, I'm recording this. It'll go in the group and it'll work yeah. for without me. I've got a question on the automation piece. I was curious about um on your on your automation tool you said that you use autoresponder mm -hmm. is that the software you use oh wait uh active campaign active campaign okay gotcha yeah i don't know why i said autoresponder. active campaign so my question is i'm curious so using um system um io mm -hmm. they have that built into their platform uh, I was just curious why you used the uh, out, uh, tool outside of that. So if you get into the details of how 
um, system uses does their email. Yeah. I just seen that inside of there, they have like these trial p moments that if you, after every so many, I think it's like a hundred or however many emails, they put you into this like testing period. And then if it doesn't work out, then you like get, sus there's like a suspension period. And then there's all this other stuff. And it's like, I, I just use active campaign because there isn't that. And I really like the way active campaign operates. And to me, active campaign has been doing emails a lot longer than system.io has. And that's all active campaign does. You know, they're, they're right. primarily just that machine, right? Just like you would have your quarterback would never play the running back. You know, the quarterback would never yeah, play. No question. It's hard yeah. to find somebody that can do everything well, but, but that's obviously their selling point as well. Right. Why pay, you know, seven, 10, whatever number. I, of, uh, I don't think you need to, you yeah. can use, you I, can I, use system. I'm I trying somebody it. else and I haven't gotten far enough along to know if they have, you know, a viable email responder within their platform or not. I haven't gotten that far yet. That's what I was just curious about. I yeah. figured that would be the answer. I, I just, I don't know. I, I just would say, you know, system.io, active campaign, that stuff works. You know, just, and I wouldn't think about it much more than that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, what, do you want a Ford, Chevy, or a Dodge? They're all pretty good now. Right. So it just comes yeah, down when I get to further down the road and start generating traffic. I'll obviously have the opportunity to to test the the, the email capabilities within the. I don't uh, think there's really anything to test. To be quite honest with you, just get one and go. That's what I'm doing. I mean, that absolutely. I already have it. So. Yeah, uh, it's like I it'll... one thing that it just drives me nuts. Like if I went back to my my old self starting out in this, I'd be like, "Dude, just shut up, get to work," because you get wound up in these little things that mean nothing, right? What we need an email autoresponder. Cool. Use system.io, active campaign, MailChimp, whichever one you want to use. You know, when I get to driving traffic, start driving traffic today. Yeah. Go live today on TikTok and be like, guys, I'm getting ready to launch something. I'm getting ready to do something. I'm going to be doing something. The moment, cause it's not even just about like, bah, you know, it's, it gets you in, in a, in a framework where you're like, you know, cause we sit here like, oh, let me figure out all this crap. Just, you've got something. We'll figure out how to get it to him. Let's go. Just go, go, go. Speed defies gravity. Hmm. With speed, you can beat gravity. So right now, you know, we can, we can, we can go past the gravity, this consistent thing that will ground you, you can beat it with speed. So get out there and start talking about your thing, right? If you bought a course about a certain, you know, solution that it can provide for a person, get out there and start doing it right now. Hey guys, haven't gotten it dialed. In. I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet, but I've got this program that I'm putting together. It's going to, the, the whole point of it is to do this for the, these types of people. So if you're this type of person, you know, shoot me an email. It's, you know, Robert at Robert.com, whatever, send me an email and say, I'm interested. But other than that, what questions do you guys have about these topics? And then just okay. start that movement and then, okay, I'm starting to get people emailing me. I'm starting to get attention. I got to get these people somewhere so I can turn them into an email list subscriber. So oh, I, I mm -hmm. better get into active campaign, set up a landing page. And then when they opt in, you know, I want them to go into a list and start getting emails. Okay. So tonight I'm going to set up some emails. Like what are the first five emails? I don't even know what to put in my emails. Just put something in there. Hey man, thanks. Thanks for joining me over here. You know, I've got this thing I'm working on and just, I mean, that I, I so many people I've I've got literally people that have joined programs uh, in the past. They're like, oh, it's like a year later. They're like, oh, I'm still trying to think about my video. I'm like, what the f are you doing? We get so paralysis by analysis, all this stuff. At the end of the day, we're building a list. This is it. If you take if I die today, take this. We're building a list of people 
that have a problem that we can solve. And then we're selling those people on the list, the solution. That's all yeah. we do. Nothing else. Yeah. So how it. do you do that? Well, got to have an email list. Okay, cool. Got an email list. How do I get people on it? Got to have a landing page. Why would somebody giving me their email? Because I'm going to give them something that's more valuable than their email for free. Right. Think about like every time you went fishing, you had to go out to the ocean and like cast and figure out where the fish were. Or imagine going out there and every time you went out there, you had this scent around your boat and they came to the boat and you took them out of the ocean and put them in your backyard pond. And so whenever you were hungry, you could go out to the backyard pond and just net one out of there and eat. That's the email list thing. If you have to go out each time and try to drum up attention and get them to your website and hope they take action when they go to your website in terms of buying something, that's like a half a percent to 1% chance. And you'll go, you'll just, it will eat you. You will either run out of Goodbye. money or run out of effort before it happens. And this is why everybody goes, this I've tried it. It doesn't work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People yeah. need at least like seven to 10 exposures at least before they're going to really actively do something. Think how long you've been listening to me and you still haven't pulled the trigger. Right. Right. Okay, that, whether you want to or not, or can or not, you haven't. And that's what your customers do too. And I don't, nobody, right. once you understand that, you just go, okay, well, I get that. But you have to constantly be, why do you think the rock still posts pictures of him working out in his home gym and walk, you know, walking down the hallway with some clothes on and funny music? Or, you know, think, why do they do that stuff? Because they have to, They, the more exposure that they get to you, the more, it's like, what gets, what is it? What gets remembered gets repeated and what gets repeated gets remembered. So okay. if you understand that, like some people are like, well, I, how much do I got to do? When you sign up to do what we do, there's not how much do I have to do? It's just, I have, to, it's like my grandpa used to always say, I remember this so vividly, it was snowing out, blowing snow. We're walking out to the cows and we've got a big stack of bales that we put there for two things, shelter belt and storage. And I'm going out there with grandpa and all the cows are running through the field. They're like, Marr! and it's like colder and crap morning time. They're running up to the fence. And I'm like, grandpa, how, how, like, do you, you have to do this every day. He's like, yeah, I got to feed the cows on Christmas, <laughs> on Easter, every day. Got to give them water. But every, every day he could take one of them cows and take it to the barn and sell it. And that those cows, if he fed and watered them, they would have babies and he'd have more cows. One cow might produce 10 cows. This is what this is. Everybody like in this stuff, you know, business and stuff like this, they don't make it because they treat it like a, I'm just going to do this for now, get a bunch of this, and then I'm out of here. You you have to decide this is what you're going to, like, I'm not going to go work for somebody else anymore. This is it for me. <laughs> and if I want right. this, yeah. like, like Walmart shows up every day, Target shows up every day, D you know, Apple shows up every day, Zoom apparently shows up every day. Yeah, I'm 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 feeling the same way. I'm I'm tired of trading uh, time for money, right? So that's that's why I'm on this. You know how you stop trading path. time for money? You stop trading time for money. You got to just you 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 just got to go. You know, like you just have yep. to you have to in that moment be like, all right, I'm gonna sell this and quit questioning it. You know, like so many people, they'll they'll oh, I don't know if this is the right thing, this is the right thing, and then it's like a year goes by. It's like, just grab something that you ask yourself in 10 years. Well, what I'm, what I'm selling in 10 years, will it still be important? Yeah, will people good, still want to know how to use the internet to make money in 10 years from now? You bet your ass they will. Yeah. Is, is people going to need problem, you know, help with personal development 10 years from now? You bet their ass. Right. So yeah. it's like what you're doing and what you plan on doing are people 10 years from now going to want to still do it, going to still need that information. 
because there's way more there's way more demand than there is resource like what did i hear the other day we were at um oh no it was yesterday jesus i took we uh my son invited us to go to he, he's touring like these different colleges and this one school um that we went to they have a huge new 60 million dollar business building that they added to the college and you know all this stuff and he goes right now with the business programs and they're teaching everything that we're teaching and have been teaching forever they're like now they're talking about oh you know how to do content marketing and shit like that i'm like holy crap this is crazy we're sitting there and he goes right now we have over 300,000 on like ready to go on the books 300,000 marketing jobs right now ready to fill and we can't even graduate enough kids and get them into that program like literally people calling we need data analytics content marketers all these people in their business right now they need that and they they can't fill it fast enough so what the reason i'm telling you that is because whatever it is that you're probably going into there's probably more demand than there is actual solution So, well, and, you know, I, I also took what you said to heart um, on our last call where, you know, you look at the three key areas, right, between um, health, wealth, and relationship. And, and, and so I started really taking that to heart and dissecting, you know, where I wanted to go. And that kind of led me to the self-help area. I was like, that's, that's right in that wheelhouse. And, and it, it'll change probably as you go, too. So it's like... Yeah, I mean, it, it can obviously go multiple different directions within that in that in that vein, we'll call it. Yeah, you just really want to be clear in the beginning, like what the result is. Think about like anything that you want to buy. You want to know to a T what that result's going to be. That's what helps you buy it, right? Mm, so think okay. about like in your what you're doing, like you might you need to go maybe really niche. You know, I help this specific type of people, group, industry, people, you know, uh pond that you're going to fish in i help these people do this specific thing like i help i teach people how to catch catfish you know with live bait like that's how you want to get narrowed down in that and then it'll push you out like i started real narrow sense. and then it just started right. pushing me out you'll know when to be right, when to expand because you won't have a choice that is really good input always hmm. start specialists okay. make 30 times more than generalists and when you're trying to start out you need to be able to hone your message in real tight i help truck drivers uh you know get healthy while being out on the road with my five minute whatever uh program that th okay. it needs to be tight like that in the beginning and then you can open up otherwise you're gonna you're going to be in a, a a red ocean like you can, um you it needs to be and honestly anymore like it needs to be that tight you okay. know like uh, I, I remember I, saying I, that i've got before, a i've got a client of mine yeah, i'd say the content i've got right now is um more in the generalist area definitely than it is the specialist area yeah it's going to be hard especially in that genre yeah. like mhm mm you need to be able to tie it to a direct outcome. Like what's the outcome? You know, like for instance, what problem do you solve? I help people get money. That's like, and it needs to be one thing like that. Like, you know, weight loss or something like that. Like what, what problem do you solve? I'm asking you, Robert, yeah. like, and then how do this you measure exactly it? If you say, well, I help people become more confident, how do I know I've become more confident? You see what I mean? These are harder things to measure. So when you're talking about what you do, you need to you need to be able to say this is the outcome. Like for me, my high ticket program, I help you get to a hundred thousand dollars per month in court in high ticket course sales that's that's what we do right well that sounds like a lot but if you're selling a six thousand dollar course that's 10 sales in a month is 60 grand right 
So yeah, we can do that. You know, it's like you, you need to be able to easily have them say, Oh, well, this is the outcome. And I know that I've achieved that. It's like, think about that. Like if you're trying to, this is where self-help and stuff like that can, can get difficult because it's hard to measure. How do I measure if I'm, how do I measure my happiness? Yeah. How do I measure my confidence? How do I measure these things? So what a lot of people do is they're like, all right, uh, at the beginning of the program, they're like on, on a scale from one to 10, 10 being extremely confident. Where would you say you are right now? Oh, I'm at a five, a three, a four. Let them go through the program a little bit and say, okay, now on a scale from one to 10, now how confident are you? So I can realize my outcome. But that's what makes that difficult. Now, what if it's how to have more confidence so that you can get to $3,000 a month in income? Now we have something we can measure. So how can I measure something? You know, the dating and, and relationship things. Uh, how to become more confident so that you can kiss a woman. Well, how do I know that it worked? Well, did you kiss a woman? So you can tie it to yes. things that may be... You know, I need to know that I did it. How do I know I crossed the finish line? You need to figure that out. Otherwise, you're just going to be like, well, that out. yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's very subjective. And uh, I've got to put some parameters around that. That's good input. And then also when I um, want to get a little bit further into this, like I said, I've, I've just gotten it. I'm, I'm going through it at a high level. I've got a lot of work to do. So, you know, in the next, uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'll be a lot further along. We'll have a lot uh, deeper uh, discussions and and one of the ones I'll, I'll you know I'll share the framework of what I have with you and and I, I would you know love your input on like even you know what's the correct uh, pricing model for what I put together uh, in terms of the course um, there's a lot of content in there that, that can be bonus and given away that type of thing um, there's a lot of content for upsell, um, in terms of additional value there. Um, but, but you're bringing up some really valuable points. I appreciate that. Yeah, that's, I mean, I just want you to come away from these calls with value. Zen, did you have any, um, questions? Uh, well, it's no, good not... to meet you. Bye. Oh, sorry. What's that? It's good to meet you finally. I mean, oh yeah, uh, I have uh, uh, a couple of times, like you said, you know, um, I have been listening to you, and uh, what I um, what I put together is pretty much what you said at the beginning. Uh, at one point, you have to stop the bullshit, stop the nonsense, the noise. There's a lot of noise when it comes to ideas, and so. Um, you are my, my stop point where it came to make a decision as far as, okay, here is the mentor that I'm going to follow. And, um, I'm going to, I'm going to put a plan of X, Y, Z number of days. And so that's what I'm doing with you. Um, and so I am starting, I have a product, which I, I am going to work around that. And I'm going to set up a short-term and a long-term plan with your program. And so right now I'm this I'm at the stage where I am going to learn the basics of how to market it and how to sell it online. And um, and then you know I'm going to go through the next steps that you offer. Um, and so that will gradually, you know, ideas don't come and settle at once. You have to kind of like work on layers, right? And so that's what I'm planning to do with your with your ideas, with your plan. And um, I'm happy to be here. And thanks for the opportunity, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm glad you're here. I One thing that I stress to a lot of people with this is like, and I kind of talked about this today on my live, which was, you know, imagine your 80 year old self right now and imagine your 80 year old self could talk to yourself right now. 
well, I'll be, I'll be 80, you know, in like 40 years from now or something like that. I'll be 77 or whatever. Right. I've got a friend of mine that's like 79 and probably can out drink me in whiskey. You know, so like he's, the guy's still ornery as shit. You know, he's like a crazy person. So, and I'm like, okay, so in 40 years from now, you know, if I just, let's just imagine I just got, I was just, let's just imagine I had a subscription program and it was, let's just say it was $10 a month. And I just got one person a day to join me for $10 a month, right? So if we're talking about, let's just talk about 20 years. So 20 years times 365 times $10 a month. If I just for the next 10 years got one person a day at $10 a day, I'd be making $73,000 per month in 10 years. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money considering to make, uh, to be in the top 1% of earners in the world, to be in the top 1% considered wealthy, you need to make $37,000 a month. So you would be making double that in 10 years from now. And, and imagine for the rest of your life, you made 50 to 70,000 on repeat because of a program that you created and, and and got one person a day to pay you ten dollars a month. I I I just I stress to people that because most people that are thinking about doing what I'm sharing and what we're gonna do, at the end of the day, let's just get out of the way of everything and just say it. We want to make money because money gives us time and power, which means freedom. In this world, like Zig Ziglar said, it money ranks right up there with oxygen, right? So if we just help everybody else get what they want, we don't have to worry about what it is that we want. I don't think this is a very like bad deal. Like I'm like, okay, I'm going to help people figure out the internet. That's what I'm going to do because I like that stuff. I like, I like this stuff. This is, I just like it. I can sit here and talk to people all over the world. And if people knew, like right now there's three people on here, little people, People don't realize what a little, I'm not trying to be everything to everybody. I'm just trying to be what I can be to the people that can connect with me and and, and feel this and see this. And, and what, what happens there is I'm building like for the long term. I could go crank up ads right now, stuff my ads down everybody's throat. I could be just going ham, right? And I'm not though, because I... I'm slowing down to go fast. I've already done that part. <laughs> like I went out there and did all that. And I going back, I would be like, man, slow down. Cause I want to build a, a community and a culture of like every one of my customers. I, I could go hang out with them. Like I like them. I'm like, all right, these guys, I like these people. Yeah, That's more important to me. I realize what you can do it, it, you know, making, you know, several hundred thousand a month. You know, I, I know what that is. I know what that feels like, you know, and it's like it, once you have sustainability and, and, and stuff like that, you it's, you're, you're just going to be like, oh, wow, I, I feel the exact same. I just have more money now. <laughs> I, I can go on a vacation or buy a better steak or wear a different shirt and you'll, and you'll love every bit of it. Like money makes you happy. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Um, that's right. But then, but but it doesn't mean you're gonna you're then you're gonna be like, well, now what? I remember one time. I don't know if you know who Dan Bolzerian is. He's like some playboy, super rich like guy that just you know has women around him all the time and stuff. He goes, I'm literally like desensitized. He's like, I I give my friends like Lamborghinis for their birthday and stuff like that. He goes, I used to be so. Oh, I want that. And then he's like, I get that. And he's like, now it doesn't do it for me. He's like, I've eaten at the greatest restaurants. And he goes, now just a, re a nice, good restaurant just doesn't do it for me. That stuff, I, I mean, what you have to do is you have to say, I want to do this. And I want to help people do this. And you need to focus on that. And everything just like kind of falls in place, right? 
And what you need to do is you got to have some people around you like this, like myself, like Zen or Robert, you know, we're, we're all kind of like, you, you got to have this, you got to have that vision because if you don't, you're not going to get there. If you, if you, if you can't see where you're going, you're not going to get there. If you don't know what it looks like to be there in your mind in some way, shape or form, there's no, you're not going to get there. I remember I was talking to this Fabio Leopoldo. He's one of my clients. I haven't known him for many years. He, he, uh, he trains and coaches, uh, like Conor McGregor. He's a, he's a, he's like a 10 time world champion BJJ guy. Like he's nasty. And I said, what makes Conor McGregor just so good? He goes, that guy in, he goes, he, he's so confident in that he's going to win. He goes, he just, he knows he's going to win. He goes, he'll come in to train. And this guy's a 10 time world BJJ champion, like Fabio Leopoldo. You can look him up. And I know who he is. Yeah. Like he, he's one of our clients. And I helped him grow one of his BJJ schools in California. He's got a couple of them out there. And he goes, Connor just knows, knows he's going to win. When you're on the mat with that guy, he goes, you, his confidence is so like, he's like, it's just, you're, he's going to win. And I love that story because that's all you have to have here. You don't have to beat anybody up. You just have to be confident that you're going to help somebody. And you got to be confident to get on here and, and, and share that with people. Cause that's all we're really doing. We're building a list and selling people on the list, what it is that they want. It's like, we're, we're, we're getting the attention of the people that have the problem that we, we, we're we raising our hand to say, I'm going to solve this problem. Okay, solve it. Now that you can solve it, go tell people about it that you can solve it. And I love content. It's a little slower. It's not like ads. You can do ads. I'm not against ads. I know, you know, in Build Lab, the new versions, I'm going to teach all this stuff anyway, right? I've already taught all this stuff for years in the past, but it's all for martial arts people and stuff like that. So I have to rebuild all this. But um, it, it's a little slower, but when you build this way, the leads are amazing. Your community is amazing. You're, it, it, it keeps growing without you. Because when you stop paying for ads, you stop getting traffic. And there is a, a place where it falls off, you know. So my, I guess my big thing is, is if you're going to do this, you're going to have to do this. Make that decision. And it's fun. Listen, look what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I'm not sweating. I'm not in pain. Not taking ditches. But the outcome of these res like of doing this is really high. Like it's way above yeah. average. So if you're good, it's like there's so many people that work so much harder than me every day, and then they don't earn that amount. You're just in the wrong boat. Because if you were in the right boat, you you would be. Meaning like that, that's something I learned years ago, right? It, the, I call it the vehicle, the boat, same thing. Um, sometimes it, obviously all of it requires, you know, consistency and hard work, but, but if you're not in the right vehicle, it doesn't matter how hard or consistent you work. You are only potentially going to get to a certain point, changing vehicles and applying that same work ethic, uh, same skill sets and so forth, get you a totally different result. Oh, Got to be in the right vehicle. Got to be in the right boat. I saw this a year ago. Uh, not this specifically, but the the internet, right? The YouTube uh, capabilities, the passive income, the multiple streams of income, creating at once. Somebody came up with that somewhere. Um, <laughs> and just driving it to uh, a point where you know, it's, it's, it's giving you income a year, two years, five years on something you did today. 
light bulb moment for me a year ago when I saw that. Didn't yeah, know how yeah. I was going to get there, but that's the, I saw the I saw it. I was like, oh man, I got to figure this out. One of the things I seen was they showed the average return of people investing in like the stock markets and all of this stuff, and it was like it was like you know eighteen percent or whatever on average across you know Warren Buffett, Ray Dalio, all the like the biggest investors in the world. You know, if you can rip back a 15% or higher, you're like on the cover of Forbes and stuff, right? Oh, hell yeah. And I look at this and I'm like, man, this is the ROI of email marketing is like 4,200%. I mean, that's great. Grant Cardone, the other day, I heard him say in passing, he, he said he's been doing this for like 12 years or something like that. Um, you know, selling the digital products, maybe longer, maybe it was like 15 years or something. He's made over a billion dollars. Yeah. Now I followed, I followed he, Grant pretty close there for a while. Um, I had a little bit of a change of opinion on him, but I won't get into that. Yeah, no, I mean, listen, all of them have their moments, but I mean, like they, they've, they've gotten into escape velocity, like go make Grant Cardone unpopular, go make Bruce Lee unpopular, go make the rock unpopular. They're go make Gary V unpopular, Joe Rogan. You're not going to, they they've reached escape velocity, right? So, it, you have to reach escape velocity in your little world, and that to me is you need to matter to a thousand true fans, because if you can do that, all of them have a friend too that likes what they do. Now you have two thousand, and all those people have a friend too. So it's like just get to that. Focus on just getting in the top one percent. So fourteen hundred dollars a day. Chop that up however you want. The easiest way to do it is just sell something for $1,500 and you're there, right? And then just focus on selling one per day or two of something, three of something. My products and prices and stuff are going to rise too. When I started in the first niche that I was in, I started out the exact same way and got it up to over 20 you know, per unit. And it just kept building. And because... It's just like anything, as it becomes more, it has to be more valuable. It just, otherwise, it just doesn't make sense the other way, right? right. So, you know, I like I said, I teach those two things, you know, how to sell anything to anyone using the internet. There's just the basic components of you got to have attraction, conversion, and then how are you going to deliver whatever it is that you're selling? Either somebody else is or you are. That's all you're ever doing is selling yours or somebody else's product or service or whatever and it's the same work it's the same amount of you know focus and work to sell a ten dollar thing as it is to sell a thousand dollar thing so you might as well sell the thousand dollar thing but once you get to a certain point depending on your scope of you know desire and what you see you know how far out you're looking you know i plan on just building my my one program the monthly program you know, I just want to get it to a consistent thousand people per month, you know, on that thing at 99 bucks, it's, you know, 99,000 a month. And then the other program, you know, I just want to sell a consistent 30 to 40 of those a month, you know, one a day. Okay. Maybe a couple a day sometimes. Right. And then I've got like my one-to-one -one real tight coaching where I'll do that's $9,800. If you want to literally work with me one-on-one, -on -one, I help you like literally just hands on set everything up. And I'm just like your personal coach on a tighter basis, right? To do that with Tony Robbins is a million dollars a year. And there's like a four year waiting list. Um, And then I'm going to have like an in-person mastermind where we meet once a quarter for three days, you know, and it's live. We're in the same room, whatever. That's going to be like 30,000 a year or something, 36,000 a year. It's capped at a hundred people. You have to be making a certain amount and that's, and it's all going to be the same stuff, right? Like, well, I mean, look at uh click funnels boy. He's been talking about click funnels and funnels for at minimum 10 years. I mean, right. I, I was following him before the whole click funnels thing. I got click funnels. Yeah, I was in the beta in group when it came well, out. <laughs> you know, these guys yeah, like, no, no. and it's the same thing. He still has the exact same offer from like 10 years ago running today. 
Yeah. And now he's got Damon uh, pitching with him. You know, that's bringing a lot of new business. And, and that's what happens. People who didn't know him before. I remember Alex yeah. Hermosi was, uh, I think he was on, I don't know what, he was on some stage somewhere talking about something. And he said, um, he goes, when they watched, when they launched their company, Allen, which was a basically uh, online marketing software program thing. He said, we just found like six or seven super influencers, influencers that influenced the influencers, right? And he goes, we sold them on it. And he goes, within, you know, the first year we were doing 2 million a month. Yeah. That can happen as you go, but you got to go first. Yeah. Because right now, I mean, I mean, let me think, let's think about this. Like right now, you know, unless something tragic happens, you're going to be alive in 10 years. Everybody here on this call is, right? Unless something weird happens, right? Which, whatever, right. I can get hit by a bus when we get off of here, right? Um, if you just focused on this for the next 10 years, and if in 10 years from now, you were making fifty to to $100,000 per month, helping tons of people, because it's the only way you're going to make money is helping people, Think about the possibility. What are you going to do that would even get remotely close to that number in the next 10 years? You know, it's like, to me, I don't, I, I don't know of any other thing. I don't either. Like that has enough leverage where you can put in once and then promote it. And then when you promote it, it stays out there promoting like YouTube videos and all that stuff. Just, I, I, my I, my one video right here on my uh, TikTok, this is crazy. So this one video, the one I've got pinned to the top here, it's got 239,000 um, views on it, right? Let me pull up the more data. I'll share this. I want to show this to you guys. I don't think people believe it sometimes. It's popping up here. Okay. All right, hopefully you can see this. Can you see this thing right here? Yep. So I went, it's, you know, it's 412 for me right now. I don't know what time it is for you, but this this video has 239,000 views, 14,000, blah, 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 whatever. Look how many followers this one video brought me. Wow. And it's made like tens of thousands of dollars for me. One video. That's cool. And I didn't even know this was going to be the video. Like it just, I, I just, at ran, and, and I have, there's many others like this. This is like my best one. But what happens if I keep doing this for the next five years, every day, dropping content onto this thing right here? You can't wait to get up in the morning. It's what it is. And and to know that the only reason, you know, people would 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 buy it or do it is because it's gonna help them. Like you and, and you just sh like you're gonna the only way to make money is solve problems, period. Because if you don't, you're gonna go out of business. Cause that's what a business does. <laughs> if if people like want to make their business make money and they're trying to like figure out all the ways to make it make money. A business, it's very simple. It's very, 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 very simple. A business only makes money when it solves a problem. When when it takes, you know, A and gets them to B and it solves that problem, the byproduct of a business meeting a customer with the problem, the byproduct is money. So if you want to make money, just make sure that you solve more problems. Just solve more problems. Solve the problem faster. Solve the problem better. Solve the problem easier. If you focus on doing that, the money will just show up. It just shows up. You don't have to worry about the money. The money just shows up. It's like... That's right. And that's where How if people, people just... Said if you, if you just ahead. chase the money... And it's it's, it's stupid. No, it, you won't even burn it's out. Stupid. It just won't... It, nothing will happen because you can't... Yeah. You're not going to make the money... You're going to solve the problem and then you'll make the money. Like yep. 
you know, it's like somebody solved the problem with a mouse trap. They created a trap that kills mice. That's what I wanted. I got mice running through my house. They need to be gone, dead, like see ya. So I buy the trap. The guy gets the money because he solved the problem. That's why I said when you create your solution, okay, how do I know that I got the solution? Make sure you pick a genre, an area because in the beginning, do you want this to be harder or do you want this to be easier? When, when you start learning how to ride a motorcycle, you don't jo jump on a, a, a 2000 CC Hayabusa crotch rocket or something, right? You get on a little right. mini bike that barely goes. And so you can keep your balance and drive this thing. And then you move up to a bit of bigger motorcycle. And then pretty, you know, when you, you don't, you don't learn to drive in a formula one car, you learn to drive in your uncle's beat up old four door van. That's already got 10 dents in it. And you know, out in the country somewhere so you don't hit anybody the, it's like when you get started with your thing do something easy that you can do like don't it's got to be something like how can i see the result right away and that's and a, that, that's that a, does lead me to a question mike if you're looking for a question i got one for you um i'm on board and then um in alignment with you on um, you know the amount of effort it can take to sell a low ticket transactional item hypothetically a ten dollar item versus something that's a thousand dollar item right we, we touched on that earlier so but the question is relating it back to a newbie like myself right that hasn't built the the foundation and the, and the offering uh in terms of to be able to right out of the gate have an offer that that can, you know, get that higher ticket, getting just some sales and so forth with a lower ticket item. That, that, there's nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, is that part of a strategy? I'm, I'm just there, getting going with the content. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's uh, it it sounds counter like counterintuitive, but it's easier to sell something expensive than it is to sell something that's cheap. It takes, you have to be pretty damn good to sell something that's cheap in this space. If you're going to teach like an online program or online course, because guess what? You get what you pay for. Pay for. Now you're going to, well, I'm brand new. I can't charge that much. Yeah, you can. The, the question is not, you know, if I'm brand new, can I charge that much? That's not the question. The question is, can you solve the problem? That's the right. question you have to be able to prove and answer to people. It doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't care if you just started doing art. Maybe it was your first day, but you're you're just you're good at it. Like I like what you made. If you can solve the problem, so a lot of times it's like that's that's the problem I see a lot of people have that get into like personal development niches it's they they struggle not because personal development is not needed it's needed it's it's practically the precursor to everything <laughs> right the problem that i see with personal development niches how do i know i got the result yeah that that's a great great point can you do per, can you do personal it's development? So can you do, do personal development in two different perspectives? Can I do it in a way where I can show the personal development does lead to X outcome? Okay. So I'm gonna teach you how to be more confident so that you can finally uh open up your first, you know, uh bank account. So I'm going to help you build the confidence and and I promise you in 30 days you'll be able to open your first bank account. Okay, can I so can I apply my personal development to something that in X amount of time you're going to be able to do Y. Okay, in X amount of time you're going to be able to do this. So there's that's one perspective and that you I would really lean hard into that. 
um, you know, to make sure that if you're going to go this route, that you have that. Well, how do I know it works? Well, listen, in 30 days, you'll be able to, or in six months, whatever. The next perspective is, how can I, how can I maybe have personal development be part of my program, but in the interim or in the beginning here, so I can learn with something that's easier to sell, can I sell something else and then have a personal development program built inside of it? You know, for instance, can you show me how to do X in this amount of time? Anytime that you can show somebody that they're going to get an, a, a definite result in X amount of time, that is always easy to sell. So when you're asking yourself, well, what can I sell? What should I sell? Ask yourself first, what do I like? What am I interested in? What am I already good at? What can I already do that's decent? What, what am I actually like? What do I actually like? And a lot of times the answer is not going to just come out and smack you in the face or it will. Just write down, what are 10 things that I'm really good at doing? Okay, what are 10 things that I'm ultimately passionate about? Get these things written down and then think about the marketplace and say, okay, what can I do where I can promise somebody a particular specific type of outcome in a particular specific amount of time? Because if I said to you right now, listen, 100% guarantee, it's a $2,000 investment right now with me, but in 30 days, you'll make $100,000. I guarantee it, or I will pay you $100,000. Every one of you is going to the bank right now, giving me the money. If you can guarantee something, and it's a crystal clear outcome in a specific time period, it's extremely powerful. I see that. I, I yep. I'm not here. I'm not for everybody because I'm not here. You, trees don't grow overnight. And if you can't, if you can't get that through your head, then you're just going to not, you're not going to do well here. Can you make money quickly? You sure can. But sustainability and like building something for real, that takes time. And there's no way around it. So if you really want that, you better start now and get that time going, right? I am like, all right, I'm going to do this. I mean, I'm just going to do this till I'm dead. I mean, this is what I do, right? Like, I'm pretty sure Tony Robbins- and you should. Yeah, I mean, Tony Robbins is probably going to go down doing what he does, right? He's going to, you know- Yep. It, this I just decided, and I've just I I like a lot of things. <laughs> I could have a thousand hobbies, right? Like I'm a very like I get excited about things, right? Too excited about things. Like I'm all or nothing when I get into something. My family's like, right? Oh shit, he's into fishing now. Shit, you know, oh he's into <laughs> golfing now. Oh he's into this now, and he just like he go he goes all in, and it's like we don't see him again. And then he gets I get bored of it, and I'm like, all right, next. But this is the one thing for some odd reason that I just, I can't, I don't ever get enough of it. And 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 I'm just like, okay, so I'm just going to do this. And the reason I tell you this is because mm -hmm. when you make that decision, all of a sudden, every single day changes because you start looking at it, not like right now, you, you look at it like, how can I build something that will sustain one of my favorite stories is that Porsche 911 story. It's like you can look at the first one and you can look at the one today and you can just see the evolutionary, mm -hmm. ch like the changes that went through that same, it's the same car. They've been building for 50 years. And it's like undoubtedly the top five sports cars ever, right? Like it's, you know, yeah, there's right. all these super cars, but if we took the average car at that price range, that car is always in the top, you know? And it's always, they can charge anything for it. <laughs> So I have my perspective on like my programs and everything like that. I'm like, well, every year I'm just going to make it better and better and better and better. And as long as people are going to want to still make money using the internet, the internet's going to outlive me. You know, so think about in what you're going to do, how can I prove to somebody that they're going to get this outcome in this amount of days? Or how can I just show people the thing? 
you go to like a cattle sale, like, like when I was younger, I'd go with my grandpa, he'd go buy some cows. They just stick the cow in the, they still do it this way. They stick the cow in the middle of the room and there's an auctioneer up there going blah, 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 blah. And they're like, yeah, he weighs this much. You know, this is a, and there's, it's like, nobody's like, well, what's the guarantee or, you know, nobody's like, well, how do we know? You know, it's like, no, it's just right there. That's what I do here. You, everything can do what we're doing right now. I prove that my stuff works by just making it work on you. How on earth would I be talking to people that want to do what I am teaching right now? I didn't spend any ad money to find you guys. No. But if I help you get to six figures per year or per month, you you might tell somebody else about me, maybe. And then they might come I in. I talk to quite a few people about you. I haven't even started yet. <laughs> think about that, though. And then your thing will do the same thing. I've watched it happen to like all the people that I've followed throughout the years. But the biggest thing is just get in, get that system built. The, the system really, truly is. I'm not even here. I'll just share it with you guys. It's usually what I do on our on our mentor call, but I'll show you. So like this thing right here, this system right here. Okay, so this is what my website's going to look like here soon. And I've done a lot of different websites and stuff like that, but it's basically like you're going to get to my website and I give people this funnel too. So like you would have, you would hit the ground running with this. All the pages would be made already and everything like that, right? But with this here, you're going to get to my website. And I used to have this big, you know, glamorous website, man, because I can do graphics. And I did the stupid thing of trying to learn how to do everything myself. And although I learned how to do everything myself, I cost myself years and years that I cannot get back Uh of time that I could but have been making millions. Um, but I don't really care at the end of the day. Like I'm here who gives a crap. Let's move on, you know, whatever. But I do have these, you know, things. And I want you to think about that because there's a lot of things you're going to be like, why can't I, I'll just pay somebody to do that. Or you could just figure it out yourself. And it's really not a bad deal. If you're long-term, I promise you figuring this stuff out financially is a, is a very powerful thing, right? Like when you figure out what I share and teach in, in my programs, unless you're a lazy, crooked bastard, you should never hurt for money ever again, because this is how you do it. You attract people, you, you, you get them to a place and you lead them through a undistracted pathway to getting their result. People will go to makeonce.com. There'll be a video there. And it's basically like, how to make sales every day. And I'm going to change this actually to automated systems. This program that I use here, by the way, I use for all our stuff. Like this is all the stuff I teach inside of build lab. And it's like really cool. Cause you can get in here and you can, you know, create different things and, and it's really cool, right? You can just get in and, and get it going. And it's really cool. Cause you can plot things out and stuff like that. When people get to the website, it's going to be like, there's no, you know, there's no limit to what you can sell. Da, 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 da. It doesn't matter if you're brick and mortar, physical, digital, whatever. And then there's going to be this video here. And I'm going to say in the video, essentially, hey, guys, if you want to learn how to sell anything to anyone, there's a button below that you can press that says that. And if you want to, you know, create and sell digital programs, click that button. That's going to take them here where I'm going to basically... And, and these are just, I just copied both of these and laid them. You, you can see, well, I kind of changed them a little bit, but they're essentially the same exact thing. And, and this isn't like finalized here, but I'm going to have a video here like I do now in my current one. And then I'm going, can you guys see this okay? Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to have a headline here that I'll test with different types of headlines until it does what? Gets people from this page to this page, because in order for them to get from this page to this page, they have to give me their name and email. Build a list, sell the people on the list what they want. The thing that I'm doing here is I'm using a page here that's anybody that would opt in after reading this page and looking at it, what can we assume about them? 
that they want to they learn how to learn sell. How to make money and sell things on the internet. Right. You don't want to build, you know, some people I say build a list and sell them stuff. It's like people, oh, I bought this software that goes out and scrapes emails off the internet and I got them in an email list now, and it, but it's not converting. Well, no kidding. No kidding. You need to get people on a list that are the right people because if somebody comes here, the only reason they're coming to my website to begin with is because either my lives or my YouTube content or something they seen talking about this stuff triggered them to come over here. So the content should filter out your people, the type of content that you do. People, how do I do content? What are you doing? What do you do each day to solve people's problems? That's your content. What does your product actually do? That is your content. What would Porsche talk about in their content? Would they talk about Ford? Would they talk about, what would they talk, think about, what would they talk about? They talk about the flipping car. They talk about the flipping car. Right? They're going to talk about the car. They're going to talk about how fast it is, where it can go, who it can go there for, everything, right? That's That's what we talk about. That's your content. Porsche is like, oh, look at the, look at the, um, you know, performance on these brakes and stuff like that. And then you're like, oh, that's cool. You go over and you look more of the car. Now all of a sudden you're in that exposure loop. What we do here is we get people onto this list. So we took them out of the, think about it. It's like you're taking people out here in the big ocean. Like I said, these, 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 uh, these fish that are out here. Okay. And you're taking them from the big ocean and you're putting them in this barrel. That's why you always see me make the barrel thing. You're putting them in this little barrel. And then instead of fishing out here, right? And it's like, you got to go all, you don't know where these fish are and how many boats are out there trying to get them. You can just come right here and drop it in here and you can pull fish out. So this is your email list. This filter from here to here, you want to make sure you're getting the right fish in there. Okay. This video right here is just teaching people what it is that you do to solve their problem. And it's, it's making good on the promise that you made over here. If I'm showing you how to sell anything to anyone with organic content, blah, 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 this video better do that. But at the end of this video, so the first part of the video is I gave you what I promised and provided value. Then back here, I'm going to make an offer that you click this button, go here and then sign up. Now this, when, when people first come here, when people first come here, so they're out here on TikTok, let's say Mike's like, Hey, if you want to get my yankity blah, blah, who click, you know, go to make They come over here. They're like, Hmm, this either works for them or it doesn't. They either they're, they're gone or they're still here. And then from here, they're like, Oh, I want to do this. Come here. This either gets them to opt in or not. This either gets them to buy or not. This first time somebody comes through here, it's like a 1% chance that they're going to buy something. So what about these 99% other people that did not buy? Well, that's where this email list that would be attached to this page that keeps driving them back to here and driving them back to here. I keep emailing them about cool stuff. You don't eat people are like nobody opens your emails. Yeah, if your emails suck, nobody's gonna open them. But before this video, right when it starts, like this part of this video, I'm like, hey guys, I sent you a bonus video to your email that's got even more cool stuff in it. So I'm like always over delivering. They thought they were just gonna get this. I send them in that first email and tell them before we get into the, the fun stuff they want. I'm like, hey. I just sent you another, I sent you an email. You need to go to your spam folders, junk, wherever, check every folder. I've got a bonus video in there that you do not want to miss out on if you're trying to get X. They go do that. If they go find that email, click on it, open it, click inside of it, the next email I send, there's a high chance it's going to the inbox now. And they're looking for my emails because the last email that I sent them changed their perspective, their mind, it helped them. They actually said, gosh, it's so great. It's so great that I actually watched this video, got this video. How, how do you make sure your videos always kick butt? Always give them something that they can actually get. Like today, let me ask you guys a question and don't lie to me. 
has this call helped you and 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 provided value to you? Yes. Okay. Would you come back to one of these calls? Even, even if I even if I don't invite you, like you could just come whenever you want. You know, I I wouldn't be like, all right, guys, make sure you get on the like. Nobody told you to get on the call today, did they? No, you just invite. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it just it's just more muffly crazy. It just needs to be turned down a little bit. It's too high. Yeah, it's just a little hot. At least I got the mic working. It's my new mic. Yeah, it sounds good it from again. that distance. Okay, thanks for. Yeah, it's the, the mic stuff cool. gets tough, but yeah, it. Can you change the volume on it? Uh, good question. Um. I'm not sure I can reposition it. How's that sound? A lot better. A lot better. Sounds good. It's a little, okay. it, it's actually pretty good. It's really good. So, but my, my point is that I'm saying is like, how do you make your video? How do you make people want to come back? Just give them the answer. From what I showed you today, are you going to go set up a, a million dollar online business doing this stuff with the information I gave you? No, but does it get you like, further than you were. Yeah. So you keep coming back. And eventually what happens is this, this human thing called reciprocity kicks in, in, in two ways. One, you want to give back to yourself for the time invested. You also want to give back to me for the invested time and help, but it's got to be good enough. Just go out of your way to help people. Zig Ziglar, like I said, I, I'm telling you, please like, do not forget this because it, it really is real. If you help everybody else get what they want, you don't have to worry about what you want. It'll be there. And that has never, ever failed me. I used to restrict how much information I would get. I used to restrict how far I would. Dude, we've been on here almost two hours. Unbelievable. I got shit to do. But, I got things that I want to do. And I appreciate it. But I know yeah. that what I'm doing right now is more important because this compounds later. It's like... Dude, Mike was on there just going crazy for like two hours for free in this group thing. Who's that? Oh, uh, this guy. Oh, now there's another one. And you're just, that's what you're building that all the time. Because once you have your solution, the only other thing that you could be doing is making it better. So those are the three things that we do, right? Is we do these three things all the time. This is what we're doing all the time, which is one, we're constantly iterating our offer, okay? So number one, you're constantly iterating your offer. Number two is your, whoops, you're generating, I used to call them strategy sessions, but you're just, you're generating basically leads. Okay, you're 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 getting people on your email list. You're generating leads. Okay, and then three is you're sell you're selling the leads. Jesus, well, my God. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, yeah. um, this is what we're doing constantly. When all hell breaks loose, you just go back to this right here. Iterating your offer, what does that mean? That means that you're constantly fixing this so that it, it gets over here at a higher percentage. This is part of your offer. You're, you're constantly trying to figure out this video until it, until it regularly converts people into sales. You're constantly... Con fixing your sales page so that it can, it constantly increases in percentage of sale. And then you're just constantly honing it in. It's like, okay, yeah, well, so the Porsche 911 turbo can do a 10 second quarter mile. How do we get it to 9.99 next year? How do we get it to 9.98? Because, because 1% of increase is a lot in a rate in a 10 in a quarter mile race to take a second off is like oh it's huge it's huge so in the same way here to get this page to convert from 20 to 30 
is huge, but it's also really big on the income side. <laughs> like if I were to just crank up, if like, if I just took my sales page, just up 1%, it would double my money. 1% increase doubles your income. Yeah. Cause I'd have double the, wow. I'd have, I'd have another whole percent of conversion. If I'm converting at 1% and I start converting at 2%, how much did I go up? A hundred percent. A hundred percent of, if I add another hundred percent to this 1%, I'm doing a whole percent better. So, so, I mean, look at it like this. If I send a thousand people to a page or a hundred people to a page and I make one sale at 1% and I go up a full two, a full percent. Now, how many am I, am I getting? I went from one two. customer to two customers. I went from a thousand dollars a day to $2,000 a day. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we're constantly iterating the offer. How can we get the message thicker? How can we get it more sticky? And then we're generating leads. Okay, what does that mean? Marketing, 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 or educating people about what it is that we do. And then what are we doing? We're selling the leads. How do we get the leads? So in this case, these are people on an email list. How do we get the people on the email list to turn into customers instead of emails? Well, we're showing them selling is just a, another word for decision. We're helping them make a decision that will increase their life from where it is now on this particular topic. Generating leads, all we're doing is, is marketing, which is just educating people about how we solve their problem. Selling is helping them make the decision. How do you make somebody help somebody make a decision? Well, Robert, I mean, you, you said you want a new, you want a new pickup. I mean, what happens if you don't get a pickup? What happens if you do get a pickup? I'm just asking you questions to help you make a decision. On, on our calls that we do, most of the time, I'm just helping people make a decision. I'm like, all right, well, I mean, wh what happens if you do do this? What happens if you don't? <laughs> We're just, that's all you're ever doing. Like a good sales call, you should literally talk like 2% of the time. Yep. So like you said earlier uh, on another call, you know, you, you want to find out what is there a compelling business driver and then you want to create um, urgency and scarcity. I don't got, it's like, we're not trying to get them to be, trust and believe us. They got to trust and believe themselves. Good stuff. Mike, I appreciate your time. I've got a, a dinner appointment I've got to jump to. Yeah. So my wife good. gets uh, too, uh, too upset at me. But it's all good <laughs> stuff. I'm going to be signing up this evening with you. I'm ready now that the timing's right. And uh, I got a lot of work to do, and I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah, man, I'm really excited to help you out. Um, one thing I want to leave you with as far as homework to help you think about things when you go here is how can I get – somebody x in 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 y time i want you to really think about that what specific yeah. outcome can i get somebody in this specific amount of time it doesn't matter what the time or the outcome is but can you do it that's what matters there's a guy uh, that, that, said, that right there is probably the biggest takeaway for me today um, it, is, it should be really that, that's where that. you're really at and i think everybody needs to think some guy said i can get a piece of meat out of your tooth with this piece of wood that's sharp on the end guys probably got a mansion because of it, the toothpick it doesn't matter <laughs> what that thing is it's the, what matters is can you perform it and yeah, will it exactly. happen in this time because man i'll tell you you get that nailed down the rest is just helping people see that. And that's just a, a, a cause of, of doing.
Well, sounds good, man. I appreciate it. You're yeah, no, I'm super pumped. I'm super pumped, man. Good. We're going to make a great team. I'm excited. Yep. I can't wait, man. Can't, can't wait uh, to uh, be having this conversation, you know, a year from now. I just, oh. I do envision where that will be and where I want to be, but I'm really excited about the steps between that here and there as well. The journey. Yeah. And I'll tell you, man, when I, I had the same kind of, you know, feeling and remark and, and, uh, I, I remember when I bought my, you know, the first course I bought, I was like, man, if I could just be doing this by this time. And I did it the next month because I seen it. I was like, like, I thought it was going to take forever. And I'm like, how is this? Even? I was so, it, I, it wasn't real to me, but when you get the plan, it's like, like if you don't know how to ride a bike, but then you get a coach that knows how to like ride all kinds, like super bike, you're riding that bike so fast. Right. Well, you know, there's a lot of things that, you know, I, uh, you know, don't do well, but uh, I knew early on that without question that I didn't have the time or desire to try to figure this out on my own. And I knew that people already had, and why would I want to reinvent the wheel? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd, uh, just a quick antidote, give you an idea of, you know, Zig Ziglar, I saw in 1984 at a live conference with 200 people. So oh, wow. that, that'll, that'll date me a little bit. Yeah. I, I mean, know what I, you were doing I, in 1984. I, but I wasn't even alive. I was born in 1985. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't even there alive. You go. <laughs> I met Zig so, Ziglar though. Yeah, I'm I watching gotta... Zig Ziglar in 84. I'm 20, 24 years old. And I'm like, man, this is it. He even had his brother there too. What was his yeah. brother's name? He wasn't as famous as Zig, but they, yeah, I did. I don't. I don't know his brother, but I got to meet Zig, shake his yeah. hand. I met him like a few months before he actually died. Yeah, he was in Arizona at a conference, and uh, I, I had a friend of mine got me there, and they, they knew people there. So we, I got to meet like General Powell or whatever, and like all these people. Like it was pretty cool, and I didn't even realize quite. You know, that was quite a while ago, obviously, um, but. Yeah, I it's it's so cool that like I that when I think about what you're saying to me, I think about like how can he take something that's going to you could take all the stuff that you know over the years and that have you've learned and and use that as a le as a lever to to show me how to open some things. So like you remember how I said it's hard to judge, you know, how do I know if I'm more confident or not? Use all that stuff right. that you know to get some tangible outcome in the beginning. And then you can like, you know, Tony Robbins can do a course about how to think more clearly now <laughs> because he's earned that power. If you go find something that's more tangible that in the beginning to show somebody, that will be powerful. It, it'll allow you to get result quicker and, 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 start developing power so that you can enter a different realm that requires more power and brand. Does that make sense? It does. Oh, it's, it's huge. And, and not having had the opportunity from a time perspective to like, even, you know, break this, um, this PLR uh, offering that I've just started with. And it's, you know, and, and I, and it, if it's something that I, I, I don't feel like I was going to accomplish those things, you know, it can be a throwaway, right? It's not wasn't a lot of money. Um, right. So or just figure deal. out so, like with the PLR thing is like something I'm going to teach inside of the, um, the program that, you know, the next layer of build lab, which is how can you take those? Cause you can get a PLR for about any topic subject you ever could think about, right? There's somebody out there because there's that's, right. that's another business model in and of itself is just creating PLR content Absolutely. to sell to people, right? So that they can yeah. resell it. Da, 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 da. If you, I've got a guy that he he looked up all he's got all the PLR for TikTok marketing, Instagram marketing, and he he puts all that in there, and then he's got a small little section that he talks about how to create something where you can have something to sell, you know, and it's in like the antique space and he's showing people that like want to do antiquing and, you know, porcelain signs and all that stuff. And he's got this foundational like stuff that's standard marketing, you know, talk about TikTok and it's, it's all pretty general, right? <laughs> you 
it's all show up with good content that actually, you know, it's like a pretty basic thing, but you can add that. And then he's got this part where he's really good. It's he knows how to like get on Craigslist and pick out the right stuff. So you don't get scammed. And so he, he attaches that to that. And now all of a sudden, Hey guys, in, tw- in, in, in 30 days, you're going to be able to sell signs or find signs to sell using da, 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 that. And he's got that stuff baked into it. And I mean, it's powerful if you know how to just bring things together. Um, and I'll leave you with one thing. My friend of mine that he, he invents stuff all the time. Um, and he's really good. He's like, always think of, take two random things. Maybe you take this and you take this and you're like, how can I put these things together to solve a problem for somebody? And you can do that with objects that would be like, how can I take this PLR and this PLR and put it together with what I know and make something that's going to matter to somebody. Right. Like, so think, Mm -hmm. think like that all the time. Like, what can I do? Because it'll grow that way. And and I always, what's, what's sad in the beginning is some people pick really hard boats to row in with something like that they could do online where it could make them tons of money and tons of freedom, but they just picked the wrong damn thing. And so now it, it messed up the whole thing for them. Yeah, well, I appreciate you, you know, being a part of that journey with me and, and you know, being a good um, sounding board and, and consultant in that regard, because as I get, because I don't know that much about PLRs. I know that there's a bunch of crap in that space, right? Um, have I lucked out, we'll call it, in terms of the one that I've landed on now being a good quality? Because these guys, they put out a lot of stuff, Um uh, in terms of content across PLR content across a lot of different disciplines mm. um, that you can do what you're talking about in terms of leveraging one against the other. And so I'm not um, far enough along to say, Hey, these guys are the real deal. And man, I, I can, I can row w- with them a long ways because I can take it and grow it. And then as my customer base grows, I've got more and more content that can help them solve these various problems. Right. That would be great if I've lucked out and hit one that's really great from the beginning. I don't know that yet. I'm too early. Yeah, no. But it has the potential to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it has the potential to do that. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Well, have a great evening. You too. uh, Zen, take care, buddy. Appreciate you jumping on. Good to be true. Have a good day. The recording of this will be in the the thing afterwards. So. Okay. All right. So, all right, man. Well, what can I, is there anything else I can help you with or get you anything, you know, answer any questions for you while we're here? Well, no, Mike, um, I think this, um, this is a, a awesome opportunity. Um, as you mentioned it, uh, sometimes along the way you meet and you hear lots of people talking to you about what seems to be the idea that you work, that you want to work on. But there is one, there is one time that you're going to connect with somebody who is going to resonate with you, and so I, I, I think. Look, you have, you have made it easy for me because I've been hearing for a while lots of ways of creating this process that you are putting together, right? Mm. And um, and now simply it's just a matter of making a decision like i said at the beginning which it really has freed up a lot of time for me because now i don't have to get confused anymore i don't want to listen to anybody else i just now i just gotta work on my plan of action and that's what i'm planning to do Uh, and so along the way along the along the process you and i are probably going to connect a one-to-one um, and s- so that I can discuss in details what I'm about to do and what I am planning to do with it. Uh, yeah. Like I said, short term and long term. Yeah. You know, I, I just wanna I just wanna discuss that with you offline, not on our recording line. Yeah, sure. So, um, so where are you, by the way? Like, where where are you from? Well, I, I was born. Well, I was born in Venezuela. Uh-huh. And um, and uh, I've been in the U.S. for a long time, long time. Uh, at the moment, I'm in the U.S. Nice. And um, yeah, so good. Got a couple of things that that um, I'm going to 
I'm going to discuss with you once we we connect on a on a on a one to one basis. Um, I just you know just working yeah. on something that I, I, I that you already touched today on. Um, I think is brilliant. The simplicity of how you come across with your ideas and uh, it just make it easier and easier and easier to just connect with them. Yeah, appreciate it. No, that's great, man. I'm excited. I, I I really can't wait to release this new program. I mean, I've been working on it nonstop, and uh, it's <laughs> it's very hard to make something simple. And so it uh, it's something that you know I I I could have launched it already you know, the 67 thing. And I just haven't yet because I want to get it. <laughs> I, I personally know what I want, you know, this time with things, uh, at least to this point, it'll always get better and I'll be redoing it again, you know, but, um, it, I I'm really excited about it because the last, you know, three months or 90 days or whatever, I've been just listening to so many people on the lives and I've just had a lot of feedback that has allowed me to to crystallize something that I think is going to really be a game changer when when people get it. And it's going to be awkward. It's going to be uh, awesome to see how people resonate to it because of how simple it's going to be. I normally I try to get pretty complex with certain things because the, it it is complex. You know, but now I've I've broken it down into ways that I've never really exposed to anybody to. And so I feel like it's going to be it's either going to kick butt or I'm going to have to do a lot of like iterating to it. But so far, I feel really good about it and like what I've shared with people and I've been testing stuff. So I'm pretty pumped about it. Um, I, I can't wait to to get it out there and get people doing it. And it's uh, and it's a pretty. um very really helpful and honorable, Prof, profit-wise, is honorable what you are trying to accomplish because, like I said, there's a lot of noise and bad noise out there, you know, around the hype of affiliate marketing and selling something. And so a lot of people, they, they're just trying to uh, find a way of getting out of the situation, okay? Mm. And what is sad about it is that if you are on a mission to really help people, you should sell something that really solve a problem, but you really have to help people get out of the problem, mm -hmm. right? Not just sell a product to confuse people more. <laughs> and yeah. what, people do, what people don't understand is that the hype around to get involved in something is, is really, I mean, it's really go, it goes against yourself, not against the person who is selling it to you, right? It goes against yourself. And so the first step, um, I got clear by listening to you and going back and forth with all the time that I've been investing in, figuring out my next step is to understand that before getting to talk to you, I really needed to understand my product. If you don't have a product, it doesn't matter how great your <laughs> your your uh, your product is, or how how great the other service is. It will not work because you need a product in order for you to be able to test it mm -hmm. in what you believe is going to be the best offer. And, and one so, of the things that um, I'm going to help people with too is coming up with a product too, because I know that that's a really big, it is the hard part. I mean, it really is, you know, having something that can actually solve a problem for somebody. And if you're, if you're completely coming into it blank, it's like, it is, it's like, what am I going to do? You know, what am I, what am I going to sell or, you know, and, and so I like, you know, I, not to cut you off or anything. I just, I I'm glad that you found something that you can you know go towards and 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 that you know that's a big step that you've accomplished just figuring out what you want to sell you know it's within each each and every one of us each and every one of us 
have that product already. It's just a matter of tapping into it. Mm-hmm. And, a, and, a, and, a, and the simplicity and the clarity of a conversation. Mm-hmm. And this is the power of what you have been doing and establishing on, on a chat, on a I am chat, mm-hmm. uh, you know, is the feedback of if you're really into introspecting and tapping into what your product is, at one point or another, you will tap into the unique product that is you. Mm-hmm. And so that's what that's what I just that's what happened to me. That's I awesome. knew my product. I just needed clarity. I just needed clarity to understand now how to work around that product and put it together in a plan. And so, look, um, it's undeniable that the internet is not going anywhere. But more importantly, we are, there is two things that I want to just leave you with. And one is we are in a broken society that is growing by day, broken and broken, where people don't want to interact anymore with each other, where the where the connection of humans to human is going away with all the automation and all the nonsense that is happening. The people see it as an innovation, but it's really working against ourselves. But the Machiavellical part of, it's two ways. The Machiavellical part of fixing the problem is selling something that will, in a way, help and solve a problem and reconnect one another, one to another. And so I, I probably I'm, I'm going a bit deep with what I'm saying here, but no, it's fine. Um, I get it. It's, 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 it's the potential of the internet and selling a solution to the internet to a broken society that is going to grow day by day more and more. So there is no other way. There, there is no other way. So, Mike, I, I, look, it's, um, go ahead. No, I, I, I mean, I, I totally, there's so, this is what I love about this and what we can do today is you can find your people and you can, like I said, a thousand true fans. That should be your first big, that should be just your goal is to find a thousand true fans that believe in your it's not necessarily like an outcome a product a service but they have the same sort of outcome that you want to right people that would follow it's called a a need they need you they need you it's not that the the solution that we we have is a solution that is, is even beyond solving a problem. They really need you. There is that target that you were discussing mm-hmm. that really needs you. It's not an option. They right. really need you because you are unique in your way. Each one of us, we are unique in our way. We have that solution that, like you're saying, that target audience needs it out there. Yeah, what's beautiful is like, you know, I I'm just standing on the shoulders of giants, right? Like I I collected all this information that anybody could have collected, but I've also then got my experiences that I bring with it and my ability to connect with my type of people. Some people can't stand me. You know, they can't stand my voice, they can't stand the way I deliver, they don't like the concepts or the analogies. That that's okay. I I'm not for everybody, but then there's another group out there that really connects with me. And and, and you just have to find, like they say, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Right. And it's like, that was the same way for me. It was, I, I, I had been getting a lot of different information. It was all essentially saying somewhat of the same stuff, but by the way that they were delivering it or the way they had, you know, packaged it up to bring it to me, I couldn't pick up what they were throwing down, essentially, like I wasn't picking it up. 
And then I found somebody that I resonated with that like really connected with me. And it was like, boom, like I instantly got it. And I was like, aha. And then I look now it's kind of like this. It's like, I used to look at a bunch of different gurus and all that stuff. And it confused the crap out of me. Now I can look at a bunch of different ones and I can see clearly what they're all talking about because now I get the core, like first principles of this, you know, what it actually takes. So when I see everybody else doing it, I'm like, I can recognize, oh, that's okay. Now I see that they're just doing this, you know, they're attracting, they're converting, they're doing th these different things. That's where you have to get to with this too. It's like, I, you, you once you figure out how to ride the bike, anybody you see riding the bike, you kind of get it. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah. That guy's riding a mountain bike. This guy, you know, he's, you, you, you have that same sense and that's, what's going to happen here with you. It's like moment you've got this because, and, and you won't need me at a certain point. Right. I had a lot of people, they come to me, they, you, they get, it's like, I don't need my mom to hold my bike anymore. I, I can do it. <laughs> you know, it's like that, that's what happens when you get to there, to that point. But then what happens, there's a certain amount where you're going to go to the next step. And I tell you this because your people will have the same sort, sort of thing. It'll be like, you're going to get your people, your first thousand true fan. They're going to be to, they're, you're going to get them from here to here. And then there's some of them that are going to go, you know, maybe like of those thousand, you might have 20 that want to go from here now to here. And they're willing to pay that extra to get to that next level, but you can't take them from here to here without going from to here first. You know what I mean? Like you can't get the yes. apple I, without the tree and the branches, you know? It's like, yeah. And I think um, there is also the, the, the side of timing. Timing is like timing is everything. There is oh, timing yeah. for things. Sometimes you, you can hear certain ideas and certain things, but you are not ready. And, and, and there is no connection because you are not ready. And it's right in front of you and you are missing it because there is no context around you to understand and approach and connect to that. But when you are ready and the timing is right, it's when the magic happens. And so, you know, and I, you get I, in I, that I really... environment too. Like the easiest thing that you can change is your environment. You know, like if you want to get real skinny, just hang out in the gym and not at food places. <laughs> it's just, you know, like just it, it hang around people that are constantly wanting to get you in shape, you know, and like, it's like, just change your environment. You know, if you started hanging out with people that do tennis, play tennis all day, whether you like it or not, you're going to learn tennis, you know? And it's like, so if you just, that's why I like having a community and a program and doing these calls. Cause I'm like, when you're around, if you hang out with me every chance you get, you're just going to naturally learn online business because that's all I flip and talk about, you know? And that's, so it's like, you, you, you do that with your own people too. If you want to get people real results, you got to yank them out of their environment and you got to help them break them old beliefs and, and get their new beliefs going. But that's what, you know, people try to do this stuff and they don't get involved with it or there is no community for them. I see a lot of these programs, they don't even have support. Like they don't offer a weekly call. They don't, you know, they don't have a community you can get into. Well, well that's, that's, that's why I'm saying there is misinformation and there is a Machiavellical, it's Machiavellical what is happening out there. Why would, why would I sell you a program that you are trying to out of whatever situation that you are, whether it's confusion or financial, a financial bad situation. Yeah. What would I sell you a program that pretends to be a solution where I am going to get you tied into nine different technological subscriptions that are going to deplete your money in 90 days. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so and so the sad the sad part of it is that a lot of people they don't have the time or the patience to understand that process and they get involved because they are looking for a solution to whatever their problem is. And so yes, 
a group, a supportive group is important, but more important is to find a solution because you have a product that is ready for that solution. Mm -hmm. Not because the solution is there. Yeah. And so this is why I'm saying the timing and the connection of both of the two is what people really need to understand and what is going to define the success of your product, my product, anybody's product, as, as you know. And I tell you what, man, the best thing you can do with people is just be up front. I tell people all the time, like, listen, if, if you can't show up on the calls, if you can't ask questions in the group and you can't, you know, be consistent and you know that about yourself, just save your money because no course, <laughs> no program, nothing is going to give you that power to show up. You have got to want that yourself. I remember when I, you know, finally made that decision to do this, I literally just, I shut everything off. I shut the windows, the doors, I locked down, I battened down the hatches and I was like, just leave me alone. I have to do this. And I studied, like some people will take forever to get through a course. I like was listening on double time, doing it double time going and do, and I just was like, it was, it was just like, if I, if I want to get good at basketball really quick and I want to get good at basketball, I just have to do basketball all day, every day, eat, sleep, basketball. And that's how I took this. And I was like, as soon as I learned this stuff, I was like, eat, sleep, online business, online marketing, course creation, eat, sleep, online business, all about it. And it was just like, I literally was just like, it was like, I was just punching a bag every day. like, And it was hard. And I was like, man, this shit, like, ah, you know, and, and I was like, just do it, go, you come on, run, what, record one more, just, just hit record, just hit record, just hit, you know, record it, just do it. You can fix it later. Fix. And, and I, I just want, if you have that kind of mentality and then somebody gives you the map that's already been there, man, holy crap. You, it's just like, and, and it's fun, man. I mean, I don't know. I, yeah, I have so much fun listening to you just talk about the fact that you're because i remember when i found my person it was like thank you like somebody gets me it was so crazy and then like everything changed and, and, it, and it, that's what inspires me to go so much on this and i mean sometimes people say that and it's like yeah okay cool whatever but i really do like i get jacked about this stuff i don't know what it is but I just remember like when I finally got to that freedom point where it was like, I know how to, I know how to generate this now. And, and, and you learn it, man, like anything, like the job you do now, you didn't know how to do it when you started it. Now you can do it in your sleep, you know, it's like, like you can do it. You can do it so easy now. This will do the same thing. Those people that are making I think what was it there I, a couple of days ago I seen something like how many millionaires are in the top richest countries like of the world or where and it was like the United States had like 24 million millionaires in it 24 million millionaires the next country had like it was like 4 or 6 million millionaires so they were like you know 4 or 5 times the United States had that many millionaires in the considering uh, compared to the next country and it's not about the United States and it's not about some other country. The point I'm getting at is those 24 million people have figured out this. And you can figure it out too. They just decided to figure it out. Just like how many people figured out how to, you know, play tic-tac-toe. It's like they had, the, if you, if you just desire this thing and stay like with the blinders on and just focus that Fabio Leopoldo guy I was talking about, he didn't know crap about computers. He had had people hired that were doing all that stuff for him. And he is so driven to work so hard. Like, this guy works hard, man. 10-time world BJJ champion. Can you imagine the work? So he, he would get on and he would work so hard and he would just pester the crap out of me. Mike, show me the funnel because he's from Brazil, you know. He's like, Mike, show me the funnel. You know, he was like always like 
just, just I'm like Fabio and he would just pound the crap out of me but now he's crushing it and I'm like I wish everybody he just he's so he was so he was just one guy that I'll never forget how he'd get on every call that we do the weekly call Mike tell me what a he, how do I do the headline you know and like he was just constantly I'm like it was just so awesome and, and and then to watch him just flourish and do what he's doing now it's so cool when you when you figure this stuff out and man i'm just excited for you i've been seeing you on the lives you know you've been showing up you've been asking incredible questions and i can just sense it in you and i, and I know once you get this formula this method and then you just decide that you're gonna just be consistent and stay and do it the it's the world will be yours man it's cool i appreciate you i appreciate you mike and i appreciate uh i thank the universe for the opportunity to have um to 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 meet you today to 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 get to to discuss with you this beginning because i'm just glad i got a face to you this... now because <laughs> i keep seeing you and i'm like who is this you know i was like these are so good questions you know and now i can see you so. yeah you know, and um, it, trust me. Look, um, just so that you know, I'm being um, I'm being talking to a lot of people about this process, doing my research, getting to understand, go, going under, going below the surface. Okay, I have gone below the surface. I have, you know, um, where am I going to put and invest my time? Where am I going to invest my money? But more importantly, in what and for what, and I'm I'm going to get into this process, and so I am on that on that path already. Let's just uh, let's just work. We yeah. got work to do. Let's do it, man. And I, you know, I can't wait because I want to tell your story like all the other people's story that I have because you, you don't realize like even this video here, it has a ripple effect. And I used to underestimate the power of stuff like this. Like, even if not, is this is this is this being recorded? Oh, yeah, we this is recorded. Recording? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But okay. and and I put it I put it in the member area. But as you've seen inside of the member area now, it's already said automated customer blueprint in there. That program it used to be performers. There's people in there for free right now, but that's gonna convert over to automated customer blueprint you'll still be in there because i i set that group group up prior to all of this the people will still be in there and they'll be able to like tap into like some of the the, the calls and the different stuff but it's going to turn over to a paid group so you'll still be in there and you'll be able to see stuff you just won't have access to the courses until you pay for the course but that will turn into the automated customer blueprint and then anybody that buys build lab which is like the core product that you really want to get, you get lifetime access to the to the 67 a month one. So you don't have to pay. You'll pay like 67. And then if you get into the build lab, then you have then you don't pay another month of that and you get lifetime access to it. And then you have build lab. And then with build lab, build labs like my my 911 Porsche. That thing will just keep getting better and better and better and better because I just know as time goes here tools and things are going to change and and things are going to change and that's going to change with it so that you always have like a core outlet to you know come talk to me come talk there'll be you know the team will grow more i mean there's a lot of things coming down the line i'm really excited about and it, it's you're getting in at a time i had people when i started in my other business uh that i had before this one or, you know, and it was the same business. I just essentially went to a bigger niche, bigger marketplace because I kind of outran that one. Um, when people got in on the ground floor, it's cool. I mean, some of them are still with me to this day, just like, you know, years and years later and quite a few actually. And it's really neat, you know, the, the spot that you're at too, because you're kind of at that ground floor here with this. And so as it grows, you'll just be like part of the OGs that, you know, <laughs> It's really cool. Like, I mean, I have, I have people that have been with me for so long and I didn't even know how good they were doing. Cause it, you don't, it's not like they're like, Oh, I'm doing really good. Let me go tell everybody about it. You know? <laughs> but I'll get on a call with them years later. And I'm like, Holy shit, you're doing what? Like, I'm like, Oh my God. Some of them are just 
just they're beating me, which that's how it should be. Like you should do better than me. <laughs> you should always do better than your your teacher, right? Because the, they saved you all those steps, you know. So oh, well, it's relative. It's relative. It depends on your mission, right? It depends right. on what you want. I mean, it's not about me beating you. It's about right. me accomplishing my mission and my vision. That's and right. whatever that is, and so you know, it's, it's, that's why I'm saying it's relative. Uh, the the beating, the, the you know, uh, winning over the master or the of the of uh, of of the program is it's kind of like uh, it's fun, but yeah, it, well, it's not about it's fun or cool subjective. or better. The, to me, what success is in this is like the only way to you know, the only way to make money is to solve problems. So the more money that you make, the more problems that you've solved. So if if you're passing me and and you're, you know, going on and on and on, then, I mean, that means you're just helping more and more people. So that's the way I look at it. Like every, you know, I want to make a billion dollars a day because you know how many people I would have to help to make that? That's if you if you change your paradigm on how you see the 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 money and the value, that that you 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 should look at like really rich people and be like wow, you know look look at the richest people in the world you know, they've helped a lot of people if you really come down to it like, tell me tell me Jeff Bezos hasn't helped a lot of people, you know what I mean tell he me does. Elon Musk hasn't helped a lot of people. You know, these, I mean, these people that make this money, people look at them all like, oh, they're, who needs a bazillion dollars? It's like, they don't even care. They're, they're so, to get to that point, they're so locked in on another mission that's like, money's like the last thing, you know. That's it's right. like, but it's also a measuring stick of your, of how many people you've helped. But it's really hard to see that when you don't have any, <laughs> you know, that's that the, the hierarchy of needs, you know, like Maslow's hierarchy of needs, that thing is very serious. Right. So it's like, once you get past that, then you start, I, I remember uh, one of my mentors is like, dude, just get a hundred grand cash. He goes, so that you can just think creatively. <laughs> He's like, most people can't even, <laughs> most people can't even have an imagination because all their brain is doing is focusing on financial survival. So being creative is the last flipping thing you're worried about when your rents do, <laughs> you know, you're like, Sh how do we, you know, <laughs> so that's, and, and that makes you creative sometimes too, but, um, but yeah, no, I, I'm pumped for it. Are we, am I saying your name, right? Is it Zen? Is that X? Yes. Like, okay. Yes. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Awesome, man. Well, listen, I'll let you go. We've been on here for a couple and a half hours. Um, I'm pumped, man. If you got any questions, I mean, obviously you know how to get a hold of me, but um, yeah, I mean, this calls. So when somebody gets the when somebody signs up for the automated customer blueprint, you know, the the monthly thing, the the my my smaller product, this this is the call that they'll get every single week, and it'll be more intense than this because we'd be like referencing the course, and you'd be going through the program, so there'd be a lot different conversation happening than this. Um, but yeah, so each week it'll be a call like this that you can get on, you can share your screen, you know, like I was sharing mine, you can also share yours. I can actually use my mouse on your screen to help you with things, set things up. So that's cool. And then these are always recorded. Then I add them to the member area, like this one will get added. And that way you have it for future reference. Cause there's times, man, there's major breakthroughs on these calls. And then you can go back and listen to it again and you can, you can get it from it. You know, like sometimes you got to hear things a few times. So that's cool. And then, you know, in build lab, you get two calls, like one on Monday, one on Thursday for two hours each time. And you'd get this call. So you'd actually get like well, five hours a week of me if you wanted. That's why I, I'm very clear in how, my process is going to be. Um, is uh, I have uh, a, a scope and a goal for a short term to put it to work in the next twenty one days. In the next twenty one days, I should be already on with my short term goal. And there is a long term that is going to get me through those tiers that you have 
in your offer. And so I'm, there is no rush in my side other than just getting to my milestones, right? Uh, as far as understanding and, and, as, and, and adjusting to the content that you offer in your tiers. Uh, and so that's why I want to have a offline one-to-one -one call yeah. with you so that I can explain to you my background and my product and why is unique and why I am already set and clear in what I want to develop around yeah. that offer. Okay. Yeah. So no. you tell me you tell me when that one in one works with you. Just go to um, just go to my and, just go to build lab, right? You know my website for build lab, right? Here, look, I'll show you. Yeah. Well, I want to show you this so you can just go do it yourself. Um, let's see. Okay. Let me share my screen. Okay. So you see this here? On this screen, this is the Build Lab screen, right? If you go down here to the bottom, look, book a free strategy call. Yeah. If you click that, it takes you here, and you can you can choose a time. It's free. Okay. Yeah, thirty minute chat free. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that, and um, you know what? We'll you know what this page, right? And... Like you know what this page is, right? Yes. I okay. Do. Yeah, it's just down here, right here. Makes sense. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I'll work on it. I'll schedule a call, and we we'll take it from there. Yeah. We'll no, that sounds great, together. man. I'm pumped. All right. Well, cool, man. Well, listen, have a good rest. I of your appreciate evening. your time, Mike. Yeah, likewise. And uh, we'll get together and we'll figure it out. And uh, this call will happen again next next week this time. <laughs> so. Sounds all right, brother. Good. You have a good you have a good evening. All okay. Right, all right. You, bye. you too.